Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. We went to Lids today because there's a new release that's only available inside of Lids stores. It is the special Topps Chrome Lids Mitchell and Nest Packs. They started this last year around this time and it is back once again. You buy a hat, you get a free special exclusive Chrome Pack with it. So here's the, the hats that were available at my lids. I live in the Pittsburgh area, so it's mostly Pirates hats, but there's also some Dodgers and Yankees hats that were still on the shelves. I also went a little bit later in the day, so I heard from the worker there that they got hit pretty hard earlier today, so maybe some of the other teams were gone. And here is the specs, the sell sheet, if you want to read through, if you're curious about knowing more about this set there are refractors golds oranges reds and super fractors randomly inserted so you can find numbered cards talks a little bit about the design and some of the features of the hat i'll show you the hats that i got we'll go through them all and look at the designs so you know exactly uh what you're looking for here so after i picked up the hats here we go i picked out 15 hats so with the 15 hats i also got 15 of the mitchell nest packs we put the hats off to the side and then here's all of the packs look at all those that's all the packs were left available in the store worker there really awesome lady uh make sure you stop by if you're ever in the west Wilmington mall area and pick up your pack from her and get your hat from her but uh, there's my 15 packs i went with these hope we get some good stuff we're going to open up all 15 of these packs in this video so make sure you hit that subscribe button here's a couple of the boxes that they also had on sale we'd love to have you along for all of our videos Let's give you a little quick panoramic of the store to show you they also have jerseys there and hats there a whole bunch of great stuff in lids along with baseball cards really great spot for a baseball fan to pick up some merch so thanks for watching. Now let's go ahead and rip open all of these special packs. All right, everybody, back from Lids. It just dropped today. I tried to look on eBay because it's always interesting to see what these packs go for. This is the second year that Tops and Lids have teamed up for this collaboration. Last year, when they did these hats, it was a little bit different. The main difference was... All of the hats were fitted last year, so you had to know your size. When and when it came to selling these, that was actually pretty tough. Like everybody had a different request. Like some people want seven and a half, some people want seven and five eighths, seven and a quarter. So nice that this year every hat is one size fits all with the snapback. I'll show you every single hat and the designs that I picked up now. Depending on your location, the hats are going to differ. At my store, they had just pirates. Dodgers and Yankees. If you live in, say, Seattle, they're going to have probably Mariners stuff there, and then probably some of the popular teams there too. Maybe Yankees will be there, maybe Dodgers, who knows? So it's going to be probably specific to your lids. So if you live in St. Louis, for example, they'll be like, I'm not going to lids. They don't have a Cardinals hat. They probably do. Also, each hat comes with a pin, just like last year. You'll see those when I show you the hats. And you get a free Mitchell and Ness exclusive Tops Chrome pack. Last year when these came out, these packs alone were selling for like $40 a piece. It was almost worth just buying it just for the Chrome pack. It's almost like you buy the pack, you get the hat for free. I looked on eBay right now. There's no packs that have sold yet. And there's only, I think, as of right now, since it is release day, there's only two listings. There's two people selling four-pack lots for $180 a piece. It's right there. That's like $45 a pack if they are successful in selling them. So it's really cool. I think this is a great promotion. If you need a new hat every year, just wait until August and go out and get your new uh, Tops Lids baseball hat. So let's take a look at the hats first because each hat does have a specific design. They're all a little bit different. And uh, I'll show you what we've got. So first, we've got this Yankees hat. I think I picked up like three or four of these. Pro pinch fit structured. And if you take a look at the inside, it looks like that. Now, some of these pack or some of these hats, I'm so used to opening packs, I'm saying packs. Some of these hats have a little bit of a, a little tops kind of like hidden part to it. This one does not. Uh, so no mention of tops on it besides the tops logo on the side. The price, if you're wondering, if you go in the store, they are $44.99 before tax. So I got one, two, three, four of these. Here is a Dodgers hat, very similar, same type of style. So whatever your team is, you can just use your imagination. It'll have a little baseball on it, 
It'll have a little pennant on the top. It'll have their logo, and then it'll have the Topps logo on the side. So that's another style that Lids is running. I got two of those. We've got a Buckos hat here. So I would imagine that they will have this design in your Lids with your team logo with the team name kind of popping out of the top of it. We got the Topps logo on the side. And on the inside, that's what it looks like. The, the green bill. I grabbed one, two, three of those. All together, I picked up 15 total hats. We got 15 total packs to rip here. Next design, it is the baseball with the pennant and the tops logo on it. Now, the worker in there said that they got hammered today on these hats. And when I got there, that was all that was left. So there may be different designs that you might think are cooler. So check out your lids. I also asked... Is there any limit on how many I can buy? And are you going to be getting more of these? Because I didn't want to like buy all of them and then they're just out forever. But they said, uh, yeah, they'll be stocking up. I'm sure they'll get another uh, big shipment in. Take a look at this. We have the 1986 Topps wrapper design on the inside. That's pretty cool. That's a really nice little, uh, I guess, Easter egg there. You got the Pirates team name on the side. So there's that one. Here we have the Yankees, same style hat. The Yankees on the side. And we've got 86 on the inside. And then the other couple hats, you got another Yankees hat with the pop-out design and the Dodgers with the pop-out team logo. So that's uh, what we're looking at for the hats. Just want to give you a quick look at those. But probably the reason why most of you are most interested is these special packs. They are Topps Chrome Packs, Mitchell Ness, and we've got 15 of them to open. Now the set... Last year was 50 cards. I looked up the checklist. It's 50 cards again this year. And they use different designs. It looks like there's multiple different designs. Maybe like 10 different years they're going with. For example, card number one of the set is Jackson Holiday. Thank goodness. Jackson Holiday, one of the top rookies. He's in here. It's a 1957 design. Jackson Merrill, card number two, 1957 design. But it looks like we got 57, we got 62 design, 1970 tops design, 1986s, 1996, 2003, 2024 are your designs you're looking at. So here we go. I will go ahead and shuffle all the packs. There's a rumor out there that you can somehow pick up a pack and know if it has a parallel in it or not. I don't know. I was able to pick these packs out. And honestly, I couldn't tell you. I don't know how somebody can feel like a just one one hundredth of a millimeter difference in the thickness of a pack. But we'll see. So I'm just going to shuffle them so you don't think that, oh, you saved a thicker pack for your best buddy there, whoever it is. So shuffling these all around multiple times. And Justin Allspa is going to get us started here. So Justin, good luck to you. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll cut this and there we go all right so justin pack number one there's three cards in each pack and let's take a look for justin we start off with a 1957 design rookie card of pete crow armstrong aren't these cards nice looking no wonder people love these and this is such a popular release that just sells out very quickly Pete Crow Armstrong, 57. Beautiful card right there. There's the 62 design with Josh Young. By the way, the backs are, they're legit. It's the exact same back design for 57. Here's the 62 Josh Young. We've got a 1970 Corey Seager in pack number one. So, Justin, thank you very much. If you're wondering who the big rookie cards are in this, it's only a 50-card set, and I mean, all together, there's way more than 50 rookie cards in the 2024 class. There's some that are way better than others. They put the big ones in here. Looking over the list real quick, I'll read off through, and let's get the next two packs going here. So, I got Jackson Holiday, Jackson Merrill. We got Pete Crow Armstrong, Shodei Managa, Jung Hu Lee is another rookie card on this checklist. Ellie De La Cruz is the big one to look after, along with Junior Camonero is in here. Colt Keith is in this checklist as well. You've got Yamamoto and Wyatt Langford on the checklist. We've got Zach Geloff. Jackson Chorio is on the checklist. Colton Kowser, Jason Dominguez to round out those rookies that you're looking for. Here's a nice Shohei Otani. Look at this. Otani 2003 design is a sick card. That's a great card right there. Otani, by the way, on the cusp of going 40-40. He's got 
Last time I checked yesterday, 39 home runs, 39 steals. He may go 50-50, which is crazy. And he can pitch, too. He's hurt for pitching this year. But that is, he might be, when it's all said and done, he might be the best baseball player any of us has have ever seen. You know, from front to cover, he can do it all. There's the Garrett Cole 96 tops design. That's a cool card right there. And an 86 of Evan Carter's rookie card coming up. I think I may have missed him when I was reading off the checklist real quick. But Evan Carter's in there as well. And here is the next one. And no, Paul Skeen's rookie is not in this checklist, unfortunately. We have Colt Keith, 86. Starting things off, that's a good one. Colt Keith rookie card. Yordi Jordan Alvarez, 80, or 62 and a 62 of Austin Riley. Unfortunately, he's hurt for the rest of the regular season. Hopefully, he can make it back by playoffs time for the Braves if they can hang on and get a wild card spot. Next up, we've got Arminio. Arminio, thank you very much. By the way, we sell all of our spots on our Patreon page if you'd like to check us out. We also do monthly packages. I'll be wrapping up the monthly packages here this weekend, hopefully, and getting the rest of those sent out. But Herminio has Colton Cowles, a rookie, to start us off. I'm, I was hoping we'd see a lot of the good rookies in here. A repeat of Showtime. And we've got Cody Bellinger, 2003. There's the back of that Otani, if you're wondering what that looks like. So a 2003 pack there for Herminio, but you got one of the top rookies with Colton Kowser, which is great. Next, we got Chris of Cooperstown Bound, one of the greatest mystery packs we've ever opened here on the channel. It was years ago, but I still remember it. Really great pack. We've got Ronald Acuna Jr., 1957, to get us started. Here's our first 2024, so alternate photos for the 2024 chromes that are in here. There's not many 2024s. Dominguez is one of them. There's seven total 2024 designs. There's Soto and I like this one. O'Neill Cruz, 86 tops. That's a good card right there if you're a Pirates fan. I like it. So, Cooper Style Bound, thank you very much. Next up, we've got Justin Williams. Let's see what we got for Justin in his pack. We've got a 86 Mookie Betts. No parallels yet. You can find numbered cards in here. There's the Jung Hu Lee rookie card. And we've got Mike Trout, 2003 Mike Trout. No set would be complete without Trout, unfortunately. Trout just continues to suffer from the injury bug. We've got John Anderson coming up next. By the way, John, got a NA next to your name. Just to give you a quick note that I don't have your address. You sent friends and family. So if you would not mind sending me one cent with your address attached so I can click ship and get it shipped out to you, you're going to need it because, look, you've got the Jason Dominguez Mitchell Ness rookie card right there that's pretty sick and you got a numbered pete crow armstrong a numbered card pca rookie refractor numbered to 99 there's the number down there in the bottom right 74 of 99 and you got an all rookie pack showed him in august of so the best pack so far make sure you get me that address there's the back of the jason Dominguez. it's pretty awesome there's really no differentiation to tell this is a lids or mitchell ness card except for just this little text right here that says lids x tops with tops instagram handle which by the way i just got a notification right before going live shout out to adrian enriquez for letting me know but he said that uh, i was on tops instagram story today for pulling an otani booklet which is pretty awesome so shout out to tops for putting me on there thanks for i guess helping i hope it helps some people find the channel and uh, also, shout out to Adrian for letting me know. I'll have to go look into that. So, really great pack there for John with the numbered card. Make sure you get me that address so I can send you your hat and your lids pack. First numbered card. Here's the next one. Michael, let's see what we've got for you. We've got Shohei Otani starting it off. Again, three Otanis in this one. Garrett Cole. And our first Jackson Merrill sighting. A Jackson Merrill rookie card. Now, Jackson Merrill is fighting tooth and nail with Paul Skeens for the Rookie of the Year. It's going to be a pretty close race. Paul Skeens had a great start yesterday. Jackson Merrill just continues to rake. I think you know who I'm voting for, though. If I had a vote, I'd give it to Skeens. Skeens is having a Cy Young caliber season, while Jackson Merrill is having an all-star caliber season. So no offense, Padres fans, but that's just my opinion. Next up, we got Sean Stewart. Let's see what we got for Sean. I see Tatis on the back. we got the Wyatt Langford. All right, we're getting all the good rookies. Still looking for the Ellie. So Wyatt Langford, rookie card, 1996 to get us started. That's a sweet looking card right there. And you got Colton Kowser, second time seeing that one. And there's Fernando Tatis in there as well for Sean. So Sean, thank you very much. 
We got Box War Bud. BWB up next. Good luck, Box War Bud. Let's see if you can hit a parallel. You got a Freddie Freeman to start us off. Jackson Holiday. Very nice. I was hoping we would see this card. Jackson Holiday, 1957. This picture was probably taken down in the spring training. I don't even know. Maybe the sprinkler is going off there in the background, upper left. Maybe not, but that is a pretty awesome card right there. I like Jackson Holiday cards a lot. And then we've got a Jose Altuve, 57 in there as well for Box War Bud. So, Bud, thank you very much. Next one up, we've got Philip DeLeo. As we get down towards the end of these packs, again, they're probably not going to last long. This was a very popular release. The worker said that there was a lot of people that came through today, almost to line out the door when they opened, to grab these hats. So, Philip, we've got Juan DeLeo, another Pete Crow Armstrong. Juan DeLeo, man. Philip, did you adopt Juan Soto and, I, and didn't tell me? Just a slip of the tongue there. Juan Soto for, for Philip DeLeo. There's Pete Crow Armstrong and Adley Rushman. Nice Adley Rushman, 1986. Second year card right there. Roy Hutchinson is up next. All right, Roy, we've only got four packs left to go. We'll see how we do. Good luck to Roy. So we've got another Jackson Holiday. Very nice. Second Jackson Holiday. Byron Bucks to 1970. And there's the Volpe. It is his 1957 style card. Second year card right there for Roy. Here we go with Achilles. Achilles, good luck to you. Hope we can find something great for you. Let's see what we've got right here for Achilles. We've got Wyatt Langford. We've got Colton Kowser and Christian Yelich. To wrap it up, Yelich unfortunately hurt for the rest of the season. It's about the time when players suffer an injury. It's like, that's it. You're out for the rest of the year. We got David Greco. I get a little star next to your name there, David, just because I wanted to get this filmed tonight and your payment hadn't come through yet. So I know you'll be good for it. So I just uh, put a star there just so I know to double check before shipping. But here we go. Oh, he's, his payment has come through. So now he's good. David Greco. Let, oh, man. You got the Ellie De La Cruz and the Jason Dominguez in your pack, it looks like. Let me go ahead and put a check mark on there to mark you good. So you're good to go. But we have. Ellie De La Cruz on the back, I believe. I think I saw 1970 Tops design. We've got Jason Dominguez on the front. Here we go. Dominguez, Freddie Freeman, and there he is. The Ellie De La Cruz is our last card there in the pack. Ellie De La Cruz, 1970 Tops rookie card. Aren't these nice? If you're a big baseball card, if you love baseball, this is perfect. I mean... I love baseball. Growing up, I always wore hats all the time. Like Now that I'm older, I honestly never wear hats. But I would definitely pick this up for myself. And We're all sold out of this, but I didn't know if I would sell all 15. But I would definitely go back and pick up a hat or two for myself just to get the chrome pack. The last one here literally just sold during this video. It is for Chris Vindicator. So Chris Vindicator missed out on a break pa5 is just a second too late so he has a credit and we're just going to give this to you for your credit chris so uh if you wouldn't mind just sending me a message to confirm with your address you can send me a cent in paypal so i see it that's the easiest way and let's do it for chris so chris let's see what we've got for you it's going to be our first signing of the trey turner we've got the, the zach geloff Rookie card 96 and an Evan Carter 86 top rookie card with the hat. So there you have it. There's the 15 packs of Mitchell Ness. I think it's a really cool promotion. So head out to your local lids. Get out there. Grab a Mitchell Ness hat and get a free chrome pack. And uh, have fun chasing after some of those rookies and those alternate designs. People love those throwback designs in chrome uh, with the big stars and rookies on it from each year. So I think this is a really nice product. I'd give it an A+. Plus. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Friday night. And I will see you all tomorrow live on Patreon. Or I'll see you tomorrow on Sunday live on Whatnot. We're sponsored by Whatnot. Before we go, $15 for free to spend when you use this link right here. Literally, it'll just give you $15 loaded into your account. It'll come right off your first order. You can become a seller using this code right here, and they will actually give you $150 in cash for free. If you use this code to become a seller, they'll match. Well, they'll match your first $150 worth of sales in your first show. 
So make sure that you come on by. And usually we're live on Wednesdays. We got all the stuff out from this past Wednesday. We're going to go live with a singles special this Sunday. I'm just going to be doing just all singles. I got all these singles just piled up. Autographs, numbered cards, rookies, a whole bunch of singles. So check us out on Sunday. We'll probably get started around 530. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.